So how do you accept yourself? When I look at the positives of being a teenager, they largely outweigh the negatives. My generation are keen to help shape the future and make this a better world to live in. I am eager to see what changes are made after hearing me talk tonight and listening to everyone who is yet to follow. I'm excited to see where I fit in, in the scheme of things, and how I can help. But as long as you've come to listen to what we have to say, then you've already made a difference. So, how do you accept yourself? I can't answer that for you. But what I can tell you is that there is always hope at the end of the tunnel. And that no matter how hard it gets, you will always be who you are. I'm really blown away by, I suppose, the talent, the enthusiasm and the passion of all the young people who spoke. The buzz of the room is terrific. I think, you know, the disarming honesty of the young people who've spoken. We don't give much opportunity to young people to really let us tell us how they are, what they're thinking, what's important to them. And when we do give them the opportunity in the voice like tonight, they just really take it and run with it and are so willing to participate if we just gave them more opportunity. It's very humbling to listen to uh, the people we're working with and to hear in their own words their experiences. I just thought that they were brilliant, really inspirational young people. I thought they were so brave to get up on a stage in front of a room full of people and talk about their personal stories. I thought they were amazing. I think that there's a missed opportunity if you think that youth are the future. They are actually the present. We should be listening to them in the present and uh, listening to what ideas they have and acting on them now. And people can learn to be happy. Help is so much more easily accessible and there's so many people like you and we're all here for each other.